ชมค่ะเมื่อต้นสัปดาห์รัฐมนตรีช่วยว่าการกระทรวงการต่างประเทศของอังกฤษมาเยือนประเทศไทยนะคะคุณฮิวเกอร์สคุณฮิวโกสเวอร์ค่ะได้พบหารือกับนายรัฐมนตรียิ่งลักษณ์ชินวัตรมาครั้งนี้บอกว่าเป็นครั้งสําคัญนะคะที่ได้หารือในเชิงยุทธศาสตร์หรือว่ามี strategic dialogue กับนายกรัฐมนตรีของไทยเป็นครั้งแรกในรอบ400ปีนะคะกับการสารสัมพันธ์ในเชิงการทูตระหว่าง2ประเทศดิฉันได้มีโอกาสสัมภาษณ์พิเศษรัฐมนตรีช่วยว่าการกระทรวงการต่างประเทศท่านนี้นะคะได้ถามว่าที่ได้คุยกันลงรายละเอียดและถือว่าเป็นนิมิตหมายที่ดีนั้นคุยกันเรื่องอะไรบ้างคะ่ะ Well, we discussed uh, close cooperation in a number of areas, uh, not least in trade, where we want to increase the amount of uh, trade we have with Thailand. We want to double it by 2018. We talked about increasing our representation here in Bangkok. We're going to have a dedicated defence attaché as of next year. Uh, we talked about uh, educational exchanges, uh, higher education, scientific education. Uh, cooperation on a whole range of things with our serious organized crime people who are here uh, and uh, also other issues which concern us in the region not least in uh, Burma Myanmar and in uh, DPRK in North Korea uh, and other issues such as that a UK tourist worried with broad safety in Thailand given that recently British tourists were killed by road accident well there are 870,000 British tourists came to Thailand last year. Over 50,000 British nationals live in Thailand. And it is true to say that a lot of young tourists, in particular, in remote areas, uh, rent motorcycles. And there have been some tragedies as a result. And I think the road safety record of Thailand is not good and should be improved upon. And at the British Embassy yesterday, at the residence, uh, we had a, a meeting to discuss road safety. Uh, in Thailand. Uh, I used to, in London, ride a Vespa motorcycle and I once came off on the embankment on the way to the House of Commons and had I not been wearing a helmet I might not be here today. So it's something I feel quite strongly about. Overall on foreign policy of the UK, how do you give significance on Southeast Asia, especially when compared with other regions like Latin America or Africa? Well, I have responsibility for Latin America as well as Asia. I mean, the truth of the matter is that trade is growing in both areas, particularly here uh, in uh, Thailand, for instance. If you look at the two uh, trade opportunities facing uh, your country, one is the ASEAN free trade area, free trade agreement, in, which will become a hugely important trading block, and that it will be of significance to British companies. The other is the EU FTA, uh, which uh, the uh, dialogue has started about, which will take two or three years, which would mean a huge, uh, hugely significant increase in the amount of trade between EU countries uh, and Thailand. I think that's incredibly good news for the people of this country. You said last year you welcome lifting sanctions on Burma, but this year violence in Rakhine State is still going on. Do you think you have to review this policy on Burma? No, I don't. And we thought very long and hard about this. And we consulted Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, and you will have seen the remarks made by President Obama uh, in the White House, where he has President Thin Sein uh, from Burma, from Myanmar, uh, at the moment. Uh, and the, we, we absolutely agree with what President Obama said about the Rohingya people in Rakhine. Look, uh, the UK have been at the forefront of trying to help Burma, Myanmar on its transition to democracy. Uh, we've just announced another four million pounds last week to the people uh, of Rakhine because there were some uh, various hardship continues, uh, there was bad weather, uh, there was bad weather which went all up the Bay of Beng Bengal towards Chittagong, we're concerned about some of the accommodation which is of a very temporary nature they have, we're concerned about food getting through and medical supplies getting through and the UK is by far and away the largest bilateral donor uh, to Burma. Uh, and we would like other countries too to come up with funds and support for these people in their hour of need. The UK went in Burma after the US. Does it mean your foreign policy has to be along the same line with the US? No, absolutely not. And uh, don't forget uh, that uh, Aung San Suu Kyi uh, has close connections with the United Kingdom. After all, her husband, her late husband, was a British uh, academic. She studied in the UK. There's a very close connection between the UK 
uh, and Aung San Suu Kyi. And I think on her release is when we got interested again in that country because we had someone we could deal with. Uh, we are fully supportive of what she is trying to do uh, in that country. And as a result of our connection with her, we are now able to meet with ministers in the government uh, and discuss how we can help them, as I say, on their transition to a full uh, democracy, which is what we all want. And we're hoping that the President Thin Sein, who's currently in Washington, will be coming to the UK soon. Do you believe there is really no turning back for Burma on political reform? I think it's stop and start. I think it's difficult. Listen, this is a country which does not understand and has never had in recent years any kind of democratic government. The institutions of government are weak. Uh, it doesn't have a national grid to deliver electricity. You've almost got to start from scratch and build a country. And many countries are helping do that. The UK, as I say, is there. We are very keen that investment in that country should be ethical, ethical investment. We're talking to them about initiatives we have, such as the Extractive Industries Initiative, standards of behavior, standards of business transaction. It's an opportunity to get it right. It's an opportunity to, to actually allow the Burmese people a much better life than they've had for many, many years. We can get this right. It's not going to be easy. And we think that the international community should be encouraging the Burmese government on the journey they have embarked on. But equally, we should hold them to account to ensure that there's no going back. From the UK perspective, what's the most pressing issue on Thailand? Freedom of expression, national reconciliation or democracy? I think probably national reconciliation. I know there are problems in the south of the country and uh, those are being looked at very closely. But equally, there is no doubt that uh, the political parties are polarized here in Thailand. It's going through a period of, of, uh, of calm, actually. I think the government is uh, calm. Uh, we believe that any change of government should come through the ballot box at the appropriate time, whenever there's an election. And, uh, but there is, uh, I think, historic uh, difficulty between the two factions. And uh, we would like to see that resolved. It's quite possible to have a government and an opposition, and an opposition disagreeing with the government. But the time to, to actually uh, defeat the government is at the ballot box, at a general election, having convinced the people that you can form a better government than the one you're seeking to replace. ติดตามการเมืองไทยอย่างใกล้ชิดทีเดียวนะคะสำหรับรัฐมนตรีช่วยว่าการกระทรวงการต่างประเทศของอังกฤษคุณฮิวโกสเวอร์นะคะเป็นรัฐมนตรีจากพรรคคอนเซอร์เวทีฟของประเทศอังกฤษค่ะ